Cheers and our final toast of the evening. We have Derek Oliver, brewmaster of Brooklyn Brewing, author, you probably read his books, and overall nice guy. Please welcome to the stage, Derek Oliver. Well, it's a, it's a great honor for me to be here. You know, I met I met Jed, and you know, you don't get a chance to say this uh, uh, very often, aboard a 160-foot sailing vessel uh, in New York Harbor. We did a thing for New York Beer Week last year called the, the, the Voyage of the IPA. And uh, we had, and well, I thought, well, I had a ship, and I had some beer, so how would I put ships and beer together? And I thought, well, IPA was on ships, so that was good enough for me. Uh, and we had uh, quite, a, quite a day out, I think, Jed can, uh, uh, can confirm. Uh, so it's great to see Beer Weeks popping up uh, all over the place. Uh, I think we're, uh, we're getting some good stuff going in New York. But in the last few months, I've been to uh, a bunch of countries, actually. I was at the end of April. We sent 140 bourbon barrels over to Sweden and did a big barrel aging project with our brewing team. Uh, then I went to Norway and Finland and uh, Denmark. And I was just in Italy a few weeks ago uh, doing some brewing. And here's the thing that is remarkable to me. You know, I've been brewing uh, craft beer for 22 years. Uh, and when we first started doing this, Wherever you went in the world, you'd say, well, I'm an American brewer, and they would bust out laughing. <laughs> the derisiveness, believe me, was palpable. Oh, yes, we have heard of your American beer. <laughs> now, today, you know, wherever we go in the, in the world, uh, beer out of North America is really considered the most exciting, most interesting thing going on in the world. And, you know, the same spirit here. I know you guys don't want to be lumped in with Americans, but uh, to be lumped in as North Americans, I think we can all do that. Uh, and I see the same spirit here uh, that we have, uh, uh, we have south of the border. Uh, so, you know, the, I think the main point we want to make to people when we talk about craft beer is, you know, they keep asking me, well, you know, is this an interesting new trend? And what I tell them is like, no, it's actually not a trend. It's a return to normality. <laughs> you know, country of, you know, or a, a continent, if you like, of uh, 200 and, uh, of 300 some odd million people is not supposed to have only one kind of beer. You know, we always had a fascinating beer culture in Canada. We always had a fascinating beer culture uh, in the United States. We lost it. What we're doing now is getting it all back. Yeah. And that the craft beer culture is a big part of the resurgence of the overall food culture. You know, we're not all eating bland food anymore. Uh, we're not, you know, looking for frozen, uh, frozen food uh, uh, for TV dinners and things like that anymore. Uh, we want great food, and uh, great beer is part of that. And uh, craft beer is only going in one direction up. And the trend, if you like, the return to normality, the thing that the people, that everybody here understands, but we want to make everybody else understand is it, it's never going back. Yeah. It's never going back. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, we're only part of the way to where we need to be. So I just want to say cheers to uh, Canada's craft brewers. Uh, I hope you'll come down and, 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 and visit us as much as I've had the opportunity to visit you. Uh, it's a great opportunity to be here. And uh, go out there and, uh, and brew the truth. Brew the truth as you understand it. And uh, let people see the light shine out of your eyes, and it should blind them. Yeah. Have a great time. Yeah.